Are you a guy that was ever interested in a girl and she just started being bitchy and rude to you for no reason? Or maybe she just straight up got up and left without an explanation? Or maybe she just ghosted you? If so, chances are that she was shit testing you and you have been failing her shit test. What is a shit test? A shit test is also known as a congruence test. It is a challenge that is done by both men and women to assess the other person. More often than not, it is a woman who is doing it to assess a man. It is not an insult or a rejection, but rather it is a way for them to tell if this person is good enough for them to spend their time with, to sleep with, or even have a relationship with. Although both men and women test each other, this video is geared more towards men so they can learn how to confidently pass the test of women. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Sean Christian, physician, author, entrepreneur, and founder of Confident Psychiatry. Before we get into the details, I want to let you know that we release new videos every Friday, so hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any important video. Since caveman time, women want strong, confident men that will provide for her and the family. She doesn't want to have a man who will go out hunting and then he gets eaten by the prey. Or someone who will get made fun of, get bullied, or get laughed at, or even someone she has to come defend because he can't stand up for himself. Therefore, she has developed an unconscious radar system that allows her to always assess if her man is as confident and strong as he seems and know that he can protect and provide for the family. Women have the power and they are choosers. When someone is a chooser, they shop around for the best merchandise. In this case, the merchandise is a man. She wants to get the best man at the best bargain who is super high value. Therefore, she has developed this unconscious shit test that will always assess if a man is as strong and as confident as he seems. Women test for several different reasons. They can test to see if you're confident, how much they can get away with, if they can push your button, how much control they can get from you, or if you're somebody who will crumble under pressure. Essentially, when a woman is testing you, she is emotionally reactive to you, but she hasn't decided in your favor just yet. She has developed these unconscious instincts or urges to assess and see if you're somebody that can stand up for yourself and that will protect her and provide for her. Over time, these tests will continue so she can make sure that you're staying as a confident, centered person who is strong and will provide for her. Are shit tests good? Most men don't know what a shit test is and how it can be used to their advantage. When a woman is shit testing a man, it is because he is on her radar and she is considering him. Think of a shit test as two things. One, a compliment because she is emotionally reactive to you. And two, an opportunity because if you pass her shit test, her attraction to you will skyrocket. A guy will get shit tested when he first meets a woman and all the way throughout the relationship. Obviously, earlier on, there will be a lot more shit tests, but they will never completely go away. When a guy fails her shit test, her attraction level for him will drop. The more shit tests he fails, the more difficult it will be for him to recover from. If a guy never gets shit tested, it is because he was never on her radar and she doesn't feel the need to give him a hard time. Because he isn't in the category of guys that she considers sleeping with. How to handle shit tests Don't mess up and don't fail the test. Refrain from being emotionally reactive, combative, and defensive. When you don't know what to say, you can default to a response like, I don't have an answer for you, but can we just be normal now? While this isn't the best response, when you don't know how to respond, it works because it tells them several things. One, you don't care that you were shit tested. Two, you are confident and secure enough in yourself that you don't have to be reactive to what she says or does. Three, 
It is also pointing out that she is being weird because she shit tested you. Note, you can't always use this because if you get shit tested several times in a row and you use the same response, it will become weird and annoying. In addition, by using such response, you're not maximizing the opportunity and building attraction, but at least you won't fail the shit test. That's why you should only use this when you don't know how to respond to a test. 2. Never apologize. Sometimes a woman may pretend that you insulted her when she really isn't even offended. Don't say something like, I'm very sorry that you got that impression. That is not my intention. Can you forgive me? No, she won't forgive you because now you're acting like an insecure wimp. She wants a man and not an apologetic child. A real man will not get defensive when a woman tests him. Note, apologize if you really mess up or do or say something bad. Never apologize means never apologizing for a response to a shit test. Number 3. Amplify the frame. This is where you agree with the girl's shit test and take it to a whole different level. For example, the girl may say, Oh, you drive a Prius? You must pick up many girls with that Prius. Most guys will get defensive and say, I didn't buy it to pick up girls, or it's a good economical car. Rather, a better response will be, Yeah, I pick up many girls with my Prius, or girls tell me my Prius is sexy. Here, you're taking the girl's frame, which is you must pick up many girls with that Prius, and you're multiplying it by 10. It conveys the fact that you get girls with your Prius. Number 4. Agree and Exaggerate This is similar to amplifying the frame. Here you will take her shit test and point out how ridiculous it is. For example, if she gives a shit test where she responds by asking, do you say that to all girls? You can respond by saying, yes, I do. I probably said it to 200 different girls. It just became weird when I said it to my grandmother though. Maybe I should stop saying that. Here you are pointing out how ridiculous it is that you say it to every girl and how silly her question is. Number 5. Disagree. Using the same question from the previous example, do you say that to all girls? Another response would be to disagree and say, no, I only say it to the special ones and you are special. Number 6. Misinterpret. Turn around what she said and take it as a compliment or a sexual advance. For example, if she says your shirt is weird, respond by saying, stop checking out my body, my eyes are up here. In this case, you are misinterpreting her comment as though she is checking your body out and she is attracted to you sexually. Either she has to accept your meaning or she has to defend herself. If she defends herself and tries to explain, that means you have the higher value because she is trying harder and being the reactive one. Number 7. Ignore. By ignoring their shit test, you are being non-reactive. You are not letting the statement face you or your mental frame. While ignoring is effective, it can only be done in certain situations. When done incorrectly, it can give them the impression that you have nothing to say and that you are weak or lame. Number 8. Laugh at them. You give them the impression that them shit testing you is funny. Other examples of shit tests and their responses. Height. I don't date guys under 6 feet. Response. Oh that's okay. That makes me more attainable. Or being short has its perks. Tall guys can fit through doors and shit. I have a boyfriend. This is one of the most common shit tests you will get, especially if they are busy with something else or just want you to go away. It is possible she might actually have a boyfriend and in that case you don't want to engage with her further because you don't want an angry guy to show up and kick your ass. You can respond by saying something like, and I have a pet fish, so what? Or who, me? I mean we just met but okay. You're a player. This is a common shit test when your game is good and you're getting on their radar. You can respond like, you're right, I play video games all the time, or you're right, I play baseball. 
Another variation of this test is, how many girls have you slept with? You can respond by saying something like, what do you mean, this week or in my lifetime? Most likely she will laugh. If she pushes you for an answer, you can say, I don't kiss and tell, but there is always room for one more. Is that your pickup line? This is a common shit test where the woman is calling you out on using the same pickup line on many other women. A good response is, yup, it seems to be working so far. Or, I only practiced it about 3,197 times on girls before you because I wanted to make sure it was just right. Examples of two more variations of this shit test. I bet you say that to all girls or how many girls have you said that to tonight? I'm not going to sleep with you. This is a common shit test especially if she decides to go home with you. Often it is a way of her checking to see how committed you are. You can respond by saying, that's fine, I can call you an Uber or Lyft after we're done. Or you can respond by saying, that's okay, I thought maybe we can play Monopoly. I'm really good at it and will kick your ass all night. She will likely laugh. Go buy me a drink. Girls always get free drinks from guys. They hardly ever have to buy their own. When she meets a guy who refuses her demand, you are higher value. You can respond by saying, why don't you buy me a drink first and I will get the next round? Or you can respond by saying, why should I? She will say something like, because I'm beautiful, which is what most girls say. When she says that, just look around the room and say there are so many other beautiful girls here and you want to know why she is so special. Congratulations. Just like that, now you are in a conversation with her and she is trying to seek validation from you. That is a sign of insecurity or low self-esteem. This one happened to me recently. Since I am the type of person that helps people when I can, this girl saw that and told me that helping people is a way to compensate for low self-esteem. I responded by saying, yeah, people like Mother Teresa, who worked with people who had leprosy, Mahatma Gandhi, and Martin Luther King, are all people who work to help other people, and they definitely were the type of people who have low self-esteem. Since we talked about backstabbers earlier on, I reference back to the point by also adding, the truth is, I have encountered so many people in my life who are backstabbers and do harm to others so they feel good about themselves. Those are the ones who truly have low self-esteem. Conclusion Before you get good at passing shit tests, you need to understand what shit tests are. Shit tests are two things. One, a compliment because she is emotionally reactive to you and two, a opportunity because if you pass her shit test, her attraction for you will skyrocket. Women don't want to torture you. They simply want to find a man who is worth it. Women who don't test don't exist. Always remember that confident men are unfazed and they know how to control the situation. If you're interested in learning how to speak, think, and act confident, check out our video on this topic. The link will be in the description below and a pop-out notification will come in the top right hand section of this video. If you know somebody that will benefit from this video, please share this video with them. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any important video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at Confidenceiatry.